that old childhood ditty, sticks and stones may hurt me, but words do not. Well, that's a lie. Words have power to hurt or heal. And words have power to help you manifest all that you want or create blocks. Because the words you use in your daily life, they shape your reality. They are powerful. And if you have been trying to manifest a happy relationship or more money or more peace, in this video, let me give you a quick list of words that may be sabotaging you. Let's jump right in. If you're my returning viewer, I thank you for your likes, shares and subscribes. And hey, if you stumbled upon my channel, welcome. My name is Sheila and this is Lumia24. Here, every week, I share my tools to create a happier life and a happier world. Light on. I love listening to people talk and I'm always very curious about the way people use words. Like Matt Haig says in his book, The Girl Who Saved Christmas, words are magic and they can contain everything. Although it might not seem like a big deal, words can literally imprint your consciousness with tiny energetic blocks. And that could be the difference between a life overflowing with abundance or a blockage in the white pipe. So, let's take a look at the most common words we use. Now, this is a word that we throw around so casually in a conversation. I hate him or I hate this cold weather or oh how I hate the rains. I hate doing this. Now, most of the time, we use these as placeholders in our conversation to heighten the drama. But your subconscious mind does not recognize it as such. These seemingly meaningless words discourage us from appreciation, from gratitude and then our brain races around to find more such things that you can hate, creating that spiral of negativity. Instead of saying, I hate, look for things to appreciate and acknowledge. This is an instant vibe raiser and pulls in people, situations, opportunities for more feel-goodness. Should. Now, this is another word that is used generously. I should exercise more. I should call my parents more often. I should be more productive. I should do this. I should be that. The word should is almost always loaded with expectations and unnecessary pressure. We do it to others too. He should be more loving. She should call more often. I do this exercise in my workshops where I ask people to write down their should list. And it's always interesting to see that the things on the should list are normally there for years. Nothing changes when you should yourself. All it does is fires up resentment and disappointment. This is a great time to reflect and see if should is a common word in your vocabulary. Could give space and freedom and choice. It instantly feels lighter. You should say it aloud and see for yourself. Just kidding. You could consider using this word instead. See what I did there? Did you feel the difference? Are you a people pleaser? Someone that says yes all the time because you don't want to upset another person or rock the boat? I've done an entire video on this. The link is in the description box below. When you say yes to everything and then feel resentment and overwhelm, you're saying no to the good things that want to come into your life. You may not think it's connected, but if you're struggling with relationships and money, you could check whether you have difficulty saying no to people. Having respect for your own time, your own well-being, your happiness is the ultimate act of self-care. For 24 hours, say no to everything. Everything that doesn't feel right for you, which includes saying no to going out of your way to pick up dry cleaning. Saying no to eating Chinese when you prefer Indian. Saying no to lending money that you don't have. 
saying no to walking the dog when you've just come home tired. If you don't take care of you, no one else can. You're sending out signals to the universe that you have no time for yourself. How often do you affirm that you're broke, that you don't have much money or that you're poor? The universe hears this as an affirmation and responds accordingly. There was this blog post I was reading which stated so beautifully that manifestation is not creating things which are not there. It's just making the invisible visible. The money that you want, the partner that you want, the career that you want, all of them exist in the quantum field of possibilities. You just have to learn to uncover them. And the words that you use are one such powerful tool. In order for you to attract what you want in your life, you need to start being what you want. This starts by the words we tag after saying, I am. I am broke. We'll keep you there. Instead of using affirmations like, I am rich, start by saying, I'm willing. Willingness is step one. Consciously rewire your soul to attract abundance, love and happiness into your life. How many times have we said that I will never do that with all that passion? When your soul hears the word never, it laughs and throws a challenge for your growth. Never is a fiercely held belief that you won't do something no matter what. Just a reminder that we live in a world of polarity, up, down, right, wrong, good, bad. And that polarity exists within us too. So there is nothing, I mean nothing in the world that you've never done before or never been. Connect with me and we will unravel this for you. Or watch out for the video on duality that I will release soon. When you say never so vehemently, it stops the good as well as the bad in its track. You don't want that. When you're saying, I don't know, you're actually negating your own inner intelligence and minimizing your power. I have done my best to remove it from my vocabulary. I don't even use it in simple phrases like, I don't know when I will be free or the more complex, I don't know why I feel like this. The universe waits patiently for you to acknowledge and use your innate knowingness before she lavishes you with her bounty. Start by asking if I could know. For example, instead of saying, I don't know how to start, say, if I could know, where would I start? Or how can I start? It activates your mind's creative energies and the mind scrambles to present you with options. If you've ever thought to yourself, why can't I manifest anything? Then this is what you could do. Speak consciously. Comb through your language and find all those little saboteurs. Weed them out. A more empowered language means a happier, more fulfilled life. If you need help with creating a more conscious language, connect with me. I work with individuals to help them reconnect with themselves and lead more authentic, fulfilling lives. Give this video a thumbs up and share it. You never know who may need to hear it. And if you haven't done so, subscribe. Let's spread the light, folks.